Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the broiler element in your oven. The reason why you might have to do this is because the oven isn't heating properly or because the element isn't heating at all. For this repair, we'll be using a 5 16 inch nut driver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a ratchet with a 3 8 inch socket. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. For this repair, we'll be using a Whirlpool stove. Keep in mind, ours might be a little bit different than what you've got at home, but the same techniques should still apply. So what we're going to do now is turn the stove around. First thing I'm going to do now is remove this panel. And when you're removing that second screw, just make sure you hold on to the panel so it doesn't fall down. And set it off to the side. Now you're going to have to remove the wires from the plug. Just make sure you keep in mind that you've got your two outer ones and your middle one. And when you put them back on, you're going to do the same thing. It's just the two outer ones. Shouldn't matter which side they go on. Don't be putting the middle one on either of the ends and then the two ends like that. It won't work. So to get these nuts off, I'm going to be using a 3 8 inch socket. And I'll just twist until it's loose. And then I should be able to get them off by hand. So I'll just make sure everyone's loose. And I'll finish taking them off by hand. Make sure you set the nuts off to the side somewhere where you won't lose them, as they're pretty small. Now the last thing we have to do before we can remove this power cord is we're going to use our Phillips head screwdriver to loosen up these two screws here. You don't have to take them out all the way, just loosen them a little bit and then the clamp will be loose enough for you to pull the wires through. So you can take the leads off and pull it down through. Now we're going to be removing the rest of the screws that are all holding this panel right here in place. So I'm going to start up here. Now when we get to these top screws, we don't have to take them out all the way. We can just loosen them all each a bit. Just make sure you hold on to the bottom of the panel as you're doing so. And once they're all loose, it'll slide right out. So right here are the two wires that go to our broiler element. We're going to remove those and you're just grabbing on to the end of it, pulling straight out and now we can go to the front of the oven. So now we're going to open up our oven and I want to remove both of these racks just to make everything a little bit easier here. So this is our broiler element right here. We've got two screws in the top holding this metal piece on, so we're going to have to remove those in order to get it out. Okay, and as that last screw comes out, you're just going to support the element so it doesn't fall. And then we'll just pull it straight out. Now you can grab your new OEM replacement broiler element. If you don't have one already, you can find one on our online store. So now we're going to put the broiler element 
through those back holes first and feed it through all the way. And then you're gonna wanna line up these brackets with the screw holes on the top. And once they're lined up, you can screw it back in. There we go. Now we can put our racks back in. So we'll start with our bottom rack. And the top rack. Now we can close the door up and go to the back of the oven. So now we can plug the wires back into the broiler element. So just push it straight on. And that's nice and tight there. And same thing with the other one. Just push it straight in. Make sure it's nice and tight. So now that these are back on, we can put the back panel back on. So now I'm just gonna make sure I slide this back up in place and make sure this tab under here goes underneath. And you can push it up and tighten those screws. And now we'll put the rest of our screws back in. Now we'll feed our power cord back through. So just push that up through the space, put each of the leads on their respective screws. And now we'll tighten the clamp. Okay. You can grab your nuts and screw them back on to those screws there. And we'll do each one hand tight as far as we can go. And once you've got those nuts as tight as you can, grab your ratchet and finish them up. And now we'll put the cover plate back on. There we go. And now we can turn it back around and plug it back in. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, PCAppliancerepair.com. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.